Tony Award nominations were announced today, and we're fortunate to talk with some of the nominees, and uh, including Lynn Nottage, the two-time Pulitzer Prize winner, is up for two Tony Awards. Hi, Lynn. Thank you so much for being with us. Hi, Dana. I'm so happy to be here with you. Nice to see you. Two nominations, writing the play Clyde's, and also, if you can help explain to people when you, you are nominated for best book of something, best book of the musical MJ the Musical. Congrats on both. Let's talk about MJ the Musical first. What was sure. your work? What did that entail? Well, as the, the book writer, I liken my work to being the mother of the show, in which I make sure that all the various pieces are playing nice. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm the curator of the show in that I'm supporting the narrative, making sure that the songs make sense as we move through the piece, making sure that um, all of the elements are um, put together in a way that support one cohesive narrative. This, I mean, a long, complicated, exciting, um, de you know, there are not enough adjectives to talk about Michael Jackson's life. H how do you narrow that down? There, I know there were a lot of producers. You've got the Michael Jackson estate. I mean, how do you do that? Was it always yes immediately from you? Or was it daunting? For me, it was always yes. I grew up listening to Michael Jackson's music. My life perfectly tracks with his albums. And so the notion of making a Michael Jackson musical just was something that I've always dreamed of. And when I was thinking about how do you tell the story of Michael, we decided that we really wanted to invest in his work as a artist, as a musician, and figure out how do you tell the story of a, a man who was a genius, a complicated genius, but who invested most of his life in really trying to make beautiful, um, positive music. Let's talk about Clyde's. You wrote this play. Uh, first, just tell us what it's about and how it feels to be nominated for a Tony for uh, a second time for a play that you wrote. Well, I, I, I feel elated. I'm, I'm sort of always shocked and surprised when this happens because we, we write because we, there are stories that we want to tell. And Clyde's is a, a play, a comedy about mindfulness, about a group of formerly incarcerated um, people who find themselves working in a sandwich shop run by someone who may or may not be the devil. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For those who've seen, <laughs> but for those who have not, are going, what a sandwich shop and the devil? But I did hear the word <laughs> comedy. Did you write it is a, a comedy. Yes. You write a lot about a lot of very serious stuff. Um, what was this like for you? What did this project give you? Well, the, I feel like this project was really important when it hit at this moment because it is it is uh, um, it is about um, people who are trying to resurrect their spirits and mm. negotiate a very difficult moment, and so coming through COVID, I felt folks sitting in the theater wanted to laugh, but they also want to um, be in a place where they can move toward. Um, a, a, um, healing mm. and they want to be in a theater and leave feeling good and feeling not only like they were entertained but that they actually went through some sort of spiritual massage I like that I agree with you and I think we were and continue to be hungry for that um, and not only COVID on the other hand of that just the timing of everything you had three things going at the same time. I had Clyde's play on Broadway, I had MJ the musical on Broadway, and I also had Intimate Apparel the Opera that was playing at Lincoln Center. And there was a moment in December when I was literally traveling back and forth between the three very different shows. So it was a play, a musical, mm. and an opera. Wow. It was exhausting, but it's exhilarating. It was like running a theater marathon, and I've been working my entire life wow. in order to negotiate a moment like this. Well, I, I know you're a, a New Yorker. I met you first when you wrote Ruined, for which oh, you yeah. won. That was one of the thrills of my life, to interview you and to see the play, the off-Broadway play for which you won your first Pulitzer. So uh, it's just continued success, two Tony thank nominations. You. Lynn Nottage, thank you so much. Have fun. Thank Best you. of luck. Best of luck to you. Thank oh, you. I appreciate that. Take care. You're welcome. Take care. You can see the 75th Annual Tony Awards hosted by Tony nominee and West Side Story Oscar winner Ariana DeBose on Sunday, June 12th. Coverage begins streaming on Paramount Plus at 7 p.m. The awards ceremony will be on CBS 2 at 8 o'clock.